Hi, and welcome to our instructional tutorial on how to use the temperature sensor on the micro bit. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, first I'll talk a little bit about the uh, temperature sensor on the micro bit. So the temperature sensor is actually on the back of it. Um, it's next to the um, processor and actually sort of embedded on the processor. And so it, it gives a uh, a reading or a temperature reading of the processor itself and maybe not necessarily the um, the ambient room temperature. Now that being said the micro bit itself doesn't heat up too much and so it shouldn't be too too hot when it's uh, running over a period of time and so um, you can get a pretty good reading on what you're you're measuring. Now Obviously, you want to think about what you're measuring. Uh, if you're going to be measuring uh, liquids, then maybe an external temperature sensor might be a little more uh, conducive for this type of experiment. And then the opportunity for um, a comparison between the onboard temperature sensor and an external temperature sensor could be something to look at as well. So um, let's get right to it with a new project. So we're going to be calling this uh, temperature. So again, we've got the simulator on the left-hand side. We've got our code uh, trays in the middle, and then we've got where our blocks are going to go on the right-hand side. So I'm going to jump right into the input, and I'm going to scroll down to our temperature. And so our temperature, we only have one block that will be used, uh, or specifically for the input of the temperature sensor. And so we can go ahead and just a basic show number and then we can drag and drop our temperature in there and then our simulator will start so cool thing is again just like some of the other sensors we'll we've seen uh, the temperature sensor on the left hand side uh, will show up in the simulator or a, a, a simulation of the temperature and so we can see it scrolling back and forth or back and forth 21 degrees so I can change that and you see next time it goes through as 10 degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, it's, I'm already paired, so I'm just going to download this onto the micro bit and we'll see what happens. So again, it's going to flash up in the top here and then we'll see, or we should see the current temperature of the room I'm in uh, scrolling across there. Takes a few seconds to download. So again, there we have got the pop-up. So it's 22 degrees in here. I'm actually pretty surprised. I thought it was cooler. So here we are with that. If I just move it over here a little bit, still 22. I was wondering maybe it sees out the little pad that it's on there. It's still about 22. If I move the air underneath it, still about 22. And there we are. Now, we can use this in other types of um, projects. So looking at this, if we wanted to do something um, to plot the temperature or keep track of the temperature over a certain amount of time, Again, the temperature um, is something that uh, doesn't really fluctuate on a, a second by second or a minute by minute case. Uh, might be something more along the lines of, you know, something that might change once an hour uh, or depending on where you live in the world, it might be once a month. Like uh, I know that some places pretty steady temperature uh, where you're living. So, um, but this is, you know, again, uh, you can incorporate it into something, you know, if uh, the temperature is a certain value. So again, here we're using a comparison block um, and it's comparing a number to a number. So we can say that maybe if the temperature is uh, above a certain value, then maybe to have it 
show uh, a, maybe a sweater or a t-shirt in that case. So um, maybe not above zero, but maybe above 15. And then if it's below, we can have the else case um, that we would want it to show. Uh, I was going to say like a hat, but I don't think there's a hat out there. No, I have to design my own hat or my own sweater. So I'll just get rid of that. So that one sort of looks like a um, a t-shirt. Maybe this one we can have as more of a um, sweater looking thing. Do we have longer edges there? I don't know. I'm just, that doesn't really look right compared to this one as a sweater so maybe um, we can also scroll some words on there so again the temperature sensor is above 15 so it's going to show that and then on the simulator which is nice we can actually simulate those sort of things so down to 11 degrees, and it's going to say wear a jacket. So if I download this, we're going to see it was still doing 22 degrees, so we know we're still 22 degrees in here. So now it's going to show a t-shirt image. So it's, it's warm enough for us to wear a t-shirt. So again, um, we can explore more with, uh, with getting into here. Um, if we wanted to get something more advanced, then we can use something like an array to start storing our data. Um, so when a, an array is a variable that is the same thing or very similar characteristics. So for example, uh, temperature, we can store it in a single variable and do something with it. Or if we had an array, then we can store it over a certain time period so we can measure the average over the day by storing it in, in an array and then with that array we can then um, do some collection with it so the same thing um, like I had uh, showed you before um, we can take we'll just uh, put this off to the side right now and I'm just going to go back to the show number and grab the temperature download and you'll see in a second so again we've got uh, 22 degrees or two, now it's 23 degrees scrolling across there and so that ability to um, gather that temperature over a certain amount of time so again depending on your your class that you're working with it might be good to be able to just you know have a look at the micro bit um, that could be scrolling it for a long time or if um, that can be distracting you might want to add in a, an, a button a press I'm just gonna get rid of this get rid of this get rid of this so on button a press show that temperature and so then the micro bit won't be running um, for a long long time uh, with this these LEDs may be heating up the uh, micro bit as well, as well. So if I press A, it's going to scroll the 21 degrees. So if I hit download, then we're going to have that same program down here. So I'm going to go onto my micro bit, press the A button, and then we have 22 degrees scrolling across. So it's a little less distracting for your students, and then it has that ability for you to measure some temperature throughout the day so again I'm gonna hop back over to the um, projects page on the uh, make code website and I can scroll down to the temperature sensor and so you can see there's a couple opportunities or a couple programs that they've already got going for you um, so a simple thermometer that will just display the the value something that will track the temperature throughout the day uh, here, with this symbol here, it's it's signifying that it's using the radio functionality, which we will talk about more later. For those of you that are not um, based where there's um, where where there's imperial, 
um, you want to use Fahrenheit as opposed to degrees Celsius, uh, you probably want to use that. And so uh, there's lots of opportunities, and then this one is getting a little bit more advanced, um, so it's showing some temperature uh, and actually doing some logging, which is sort of cool. Um, the other cool thing is this is a Python program, so again, if your students are getting to that level where you want to push them a little bit more, you can get into that level of, of coding. So the code is already there for you, so that's super exciting to, to be able to use um, and, and to, to challenge them to get there. So again, I want to thank you for this. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. If not, uh, we'll see you on the internet. Bye for now.